I'm disappointed the Deputy Prime Minister, a Toronto MP, would ignore a direct commitment the federal Liberals made during the last election to the City of Toronto. Letters were sent, public statements were made, and yet nothing in the kitty for Toronto from Ottawa means a shortfall of hundreds of millions of dollars due to transit and shelter costs through the pandemic. The city, as a result, is in a state of what now as it grapples with the possibility of cuts to services and repairs for things like roads and community centres. So you're going to see those cuts rapidly happen in 2024 if we don't get assistance. Uh, we are able to use the reserves we've squirreled away uh, to pay for this year. Um, but it's not a good strategy going forward. It's like taking out your RRSPs to pay your mortgage. On the table for consideration with a report now due in July is the use of new revenue tools. A new city parking levy has been discussed and is being explored. The idea of road tolls in the city was brought up years ago and dismissed. Some want to explore the idea again. People have not wanted to raise taxes, raise fees, raise charges, and have wanted to pretend that everything was going to be fine. It's not fine. Now that we are finally at the crash point, we have to do things differently. The more fiscally conservative councillors say it's now time for the city to take a long, hard look in the mirror. We have to do everything we can as a city to make sure that we are focused on delivering the services efficiently that we are responsible for before we turn to other orders of government to bail us out. While the city continues to try and deal with its financial issues, one person that will be inheriting the problem is the city's next mayor. And on that note, another candidate made it official this morning after weeks of hinting about entering the race. We spend so much time here at the city uh, in endless debate and discussion, deferral, delay, and we don't see enough action moving things forward. Uh, it's, it's about time for less talk and more action. Councillor Brad Bradford was just elected to his second term and has vowed to take a hard line on a number of issues, including affordability and the housing crisis. When asked if he would be prepared to use the strong mayor powers handed to John Tory by the province, he didn't hesitate. The legislation is there. I will be a strong mayor of action. Um, it's, it's a mentality though, and it's a leadership style. A strong mayor is someone who's not afraid to stand in there and have the debates with council colleagues. A strong mayor is someone who's not afraid to go to the province and federal government and say, hey, it's time for you to do your fair share. City Council has now officially declared the office of the mayor vacant, which kickstarts the process of getting candidates registered before a by-election on June 26th. Mark McAllister, City News.